In our today's video, boys, we are gonna reunite the United States once again. And today, boys, we will do that as the New York City. So Mafia will take control over the city, then we will liberate the New England, after that we will liberate the whole East Coast, and then we will move to the West to liberate Los Angeles, San Francisco and Sacramento. And only after liberating all 48 states, the United States are gonna be reunited once again. Trust me, brothers, that's gonna be an epic campaign. So, enjoy. Well, we're gonna be pretty small, but we're gonna be a state with the population of almost 8 million people. And that's way more than enough to create one big and strong army. So, Everson isn't so bad. To fully understand the situation, the population of the New York City is higher than the population of the whole Texas and California. The New York City is the best city in the world. The United States in 1936. God save America. Finally, the 1936 presidential election, and there you can pick whoever you want. And guess what, boys? Just as always, I prefer a deadlock, because it is the fastest way to start the Second American Civil War. Now I'll set to play as the combined syndicates. The battle for New York. Despite the best attempts of both sides, the battle stalls, leading to massive casualties. The Exodus. We must trust our own men. We are no better than the Erectioneers. Embracing freedom. Finally, boys, the New York City is free. We are all a great big part of it. New York, New York. The beacon of liberty breaks free. Man, we even get to the visions. Nice. So, the Big Apple breaks free. And I have also changed our flag to a better one. February 1937, the snap elections for the mayor of the New York City. And here I prefer to choose the first option. The little flower, La Guardia, the basin of the New York liberalism, is re-elected. As means stability. And his focus line we need to search only two focuses. New York New Deal and Swap Tammany site. That's all. The Great Crime Way of 1937. Well, we know nothing about this, but let's just hope that we can deal with this pretty easily. So after searching New York New Deal, you will get a new political action. Deal with crime. So here you need to complete deal with Tammany Hall by searching our next focus through line sweep Tammany aside and do nothing with this. Deal with crime. You need to ignore it. Fully ignore it. So the event must be failed. And while you are failing this political action, you can go by this or this focus through lines. They are really important because they will help you to deal with the crisis and build a new army of the New York City. After searching it, you will have another 5 months to do everything that you want to. So we have failed action, deal with crime, and now we need to choose who will take power in the New York City. The Mafia or the Police. A final game of cops and robbers. And today, boys, we will choose the first option. The Mafia takes the final bite out of the Big Apple. The commission sizes on the keys. An apple, truly rotten to the core. The Mafia becomes the ruling party. The mob sizes the moment. Glory to our criminal state. Wow, Mr. Savinkov got a new portrait and now he is fighting against the Ukrainian People's Republic. The commission convinces to choose a capo di turi capi. Hmm. <laughs> what an interesting choice. But here I prefer to choose Mayor Lansky steals the vote as the unity candidate. He is the brain of the Mafia, so he deserves to be a leader of our state. Get the cops on our side? Man, I like that idea. We will finally solve the problem with the New York Police Department. So we have waged a long and bloody war with the Bison Blue. That doesn't always have to be the case. We cannot hope to run the city without their aid, so we have decided to basically buy out the New York Police Department. What a based decision. The fate of Tammany Hall? 
Man, I hate this place. Time to slay the Tammany Tiger once and for all. Take that, liberals. The Dominion of New England broke away from Canada. Bro, you did the very best thing that you could ever do. Bro, let's reunite once again. I believe that you will survive because I need to conquer you in the nearest future. That's gonna be the first step of the American reunification. Hello, independent New England. Nice to see you too. To make sure that we defeat the United Duchess of New England, we need to join the Rex Pact and Berlin will do anything to help us to destroy the traitors in America. Regardless of their alleged dreams of world domination, there is no disputing that the Kaiserreich is the global hegemon. With this fact in mind, we should align ourselves with Germany and the Reichspakt, for only under the Iron Cross can New York City be truly free. We've got three different options, and two of them are for jerks, which is beyond the city limits, and one day we will march to reunify America. If you think we will just remain a pathetic city-state for the rest of our miserable existence, you are damn wrong. New York City will expand past its metropolitan borders to rule the Northeast, for it's our destiny. And who knows, perhaps we shall even march to the DC and beyond if we so feel. Damn, I like this drive and I like these ambitions. The Big Apple enters the big leagues. Let's join the Rex Pact. He's an idiot for sure. He is fucking damn stupid. What the fuck is he doing? Congratulations, boys. Oh, we have joined the Rex Pact. That is the biggest success of New York City since its, since its, phew, since its existence. So let's have some fun in the New England. New York City declared war on the United Duchess of New England. Whoa, we're making it! In a few days we will liberate Boston. Oh yeah, the United Duchess of New England have capitulated. So, any last words? Traitors. So stupid Cindy's got NASA and accept the Rhode Island. I forgot to take it. Really. Oh god, what the hell is going on here? Nice, now we've got a new color and a brand new flag. Totally based X3. The 1939 New York World's Fair. Witness this dawn of a new day as we take a look into the world of tomorrow. New York is becoming greater and greater, and every single state in this world understands that. Oh my god, I'm impressed. So the whole Balkans have united with Russia to destroy the Austrian Empire together. That looks like an epic battle. Mobster multiculturalism. Together, only prosperity and greatness awaits us. Now mobsters of the world should unite under the rule of New York City and the New York Mafia. Living in a gangster's paradise. We've spent most of our lives in a gangster's paradise, and now it's time to spread that glory to the rest of New York. Through our labors and efforts, the Big Apple shall become an utopia of crime, hedonism, access, and more as we seek to climb to new heights like never before. The city that never sleeps is kept awake on an endless supply of drugs, profit, and entertainment, all provided by the new providers and rulers of this metropolis. We have emerged from the valley of the shadow of death and have walked into a true gangster's paradise for all to find profit and prosperity in. Is that a new form of anarcho-capitalism? Control the drug trade? Cut into the human traffic? Holy shit, what a based state! I guess that sugar companies from Central America got on the new level. And the result of the our main focus to learn is becoming the hub of global organized crime. Through the efforts of our syndicate and our brilliant dance, we have transformed New York City into the central hub of the global organized crime network. With deep ties to La Cosa Nostra, the triads, the Chicago outfit, the cartels, and more, we have become the neutral middle ground where most international elect business is conducted. Here, in our safe haven, these types are free of restrictions and obstacles that would otherwise hurt the bottom line, a true criminal utopia for the new age. The only thing I can say, what a based icon. Gosh, what is that? 
What is that? <laughs> this icon is so freaking based. Count into human trafficking. With a smile. Oh my god. <laughs> what a base state. What a freaking based state. I truly love you, New York. Someone told me that big scenes are only about Texas. But he is wrong, because the big scenes aren't just about Texas, it's also about New York City. Finally we will remove this disgusting debuff. I believe that soon we will create a normal army. We just need more time to do that. Yo, check this out boys, bro made a huge comeback. Well, if you can't defeat the Pacific States, become the Pacific States. Sheesh, man, are we gonna become the Canada of the 20th century? Like, this is a modern day Canada, multicultural criminal state. Just a normal day in North America. The end of an era is here. This is gonna be the end for the Deutsches Kaiserreich. A new army for New York. The city that never sleeps shall never falter as long as this army stands strong. Wait a second, now we have not only the Prussian state, but East Prussian state? Um, I guess that it is our best chance to join the Second American Civil War and liberate the New Jersey, cause it is our core state. And plus we need to gain even more lands to reunify America once again. So any last words, comrade? Man, I just hope for the best. I hope that we will take Pennsylvania, cause I really need it still. So the combined syndicates have capitulated. Yes, so the Pennsylvania and the New Jersey is mine. I can say that I took everything that I wanted to. And the next up is war against the United States. So any last words, Washington DC? I'm gonna liberate everything that I'm able to. Congratulations boys, the Washington DC is ours. So I took literally everything from the United States and now we're gonna have the final war. The war against the Pacific States of America. War against those damn liberals. Oh nice, they are justifying the war goal against us. Perfect. So the Pacific States declared war on me. Okay boys, let's go. Well, now that's gonna be really interesting. He long against everyone. Oh my god, after so many hours we finally did that we have capitulated the Pacific States of America. I spent more than 3 hours to beat them. That was a huge pain, but we did it. So everything is mine and that means that the United States are finally reunited once again. This United States no longer. So we started with our backs against the wall in the smallest but densest part of the old union, we New Yorkers have beat the immense odds stacked against us to win the Second American Civil War. The victorious of the ultimate underdog story, we have beaten the titans that thought to tear what it means to be American apart. And now we stand atop the corpse and carcasses of these fallen titans as the one true victor. The home of the brave, the last of the free, has finally been unified, and liberty and freedom run out across the purple mountains and fruited plains once again. The United States of America, in all its beauty and splendor, now stands beaten, but alive once more. Let us now go about repairing our beloved union and doing the horrid mistakes of the past to build a brighter future. America, one and indivisible once again. A new flag for a new America, and you know what, we will use the Statue of Liberty. New York means liberty and freedom. And welcome back, the United States. So Mafia have united the United States of America once again. Am I proud of our new the United States of America? I guess so. Glory to the liberty, glory to the New York City, our new bright capital, our glorious capital. Now the New York City is the capital of the world.